I'm gassed him up. Vinny What's up, Vinny? One. We got Ally and Peebnut. How? This is a hot set, bro. This could easily be an upset. I want to see what happens. Ooh, ooh! The low to the ground down air into grab at low percent. Is that? Is it laggy or? Is it no, no, they're faking each other out. That was the Wi-Fi mix-up. <laughs> So yeah, it's looking pretty good. The connection's not too bad. This is a hot set. So I know uh, Peebnut, I believe, beat Scat at a uh, uh, South Carolina tournament, I think it was, a couple months ago. This matchup? Yeah, Snake Mega Man. I and mean, it was like super last hit. I was actually talking to Scat where I was saying that his, his matchup spread's pretty good. And I actually told him that, like, hey, you're one of the best Mega Mans. Yeah. So you could just do the ditto if it ever comes to that, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah. So I kind of wonder just to myself um, if that happened before. He was kind of thinking that, you know, that maybe I'm just going to go Mega Man in right. this matchup. Because it, it can be a rough time. And we've seen actually Mars earlier on pulling out this character as a counterpick character. Not going for the back air there. Uh, I think it might not have went through, I guess. Oh, dude. Ooh, that's gonna be a huge yeah. punish. Ally shot the Nikita through the uh, the what's that thing called? The thing that make oh shield break. What the? Oh, heck? with the taunt, even oh, styling. Yeah, bro. This is some hype games. Both of these players are super fucking good. I just love watching top level Smash, bro. That shit is so hype. And the connection right now is Chris. So yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to watch. Canada versus uh, South Carolina, I believe. Peanuts from one of the Carolinas. Yeah. In that area. Yeah, this shit is hype. Yeah, see, this is the zoning where you just set up, you know? Yeah. Low shield. This one went for that forward smash. He wanted the, another shield break. Didn't run back far enough. He's just caught up in the air. Snake's really funny when he's just kind of chilling there with the grenade. The animation's funny. Alright. Okay. Yeah, the full hop jump away. One of the best defensive options in the game. Uh, that down air on shield's very, um, I believe it's plus. Or it, it's pretty safe. If you if you land like that. Yeah. And see those double jumps and then he lands with a leaf shield. Leaf shield can be very difficult to deal with. Uh, especially as a character like Snake where your mobility isn't the best and you rely more on the setups. Right. Oh what a good grab. People usually like to come down from platforms with aggressive options, but people just landed and grabbed. Really smart. Both these characters have like um, shore use essentially. Yeah. Uh, so it's funny because whenever they get close to each other, they just roll away. They're like, nah, I'm not messing with you. There goes the Nikita. Ooh. Oh, Yeah. Well, Ally got a lead, and right now he's probably going to play a little bit more campier than usual. Yeah. So he can like hold this lead. And that's technically this matchup too. It's not. Because Ally is a pretty aggressive snake. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely uses more normals than you expect most snakes to do. See, like that. Yeah. Finds his opening, gets back into the action. Opportunity here. He has a good lead, but he's really pushing that corner space as much as possible, which is smart. Right. Yeah, just standing in the corner waiting for people to try to do something aggressive. Throwing out grenades. It's And that's fine. That's He shouldn't really be overcommitting with the lead he has. Ooh, and, small shield though. Yeah. Peanut, I think Peanut is setting this up to get those shields low so he can get them for breaks because he's throwing out a lot yeah. of projectiles. Because even if you don't break at this percent, you're going to be able to get some shield pokes too yeah. and throw out your kill moves. And just pressure in general. You can force your opponent to like roll or jump out of there to get away from yeah. there as fast as possible. Yeah, start reading the defensive options. Oh, mm, Again, though, I think you thought that was going to poke and it didn't. Yeah, right now Ally's got a pretty huge lead. Parries those again. I was really good at parrying. I want to say too, it, it doesn't feel like Peebnut has the the timings on grenades down perfectly. Uh, it's kind of a thing where like once you kind of just have the just the, the your, you know the the sense of the timing, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's just kind of in the back of your head. It's almost like muscle memory. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the matchup becomes a lot more manageable because you see them more as items. That's what Vinny G told me. It's like they're items, you know. They're they're not projectiles. Right. And, and you have to think of them as items as tools. Here we go, though. I like the patience there from Ally, just not to get hit by that side B mm -hmm. crash bomber. We'll put himself in the corner, though. Good spacing in the forward air. Dude, this is... It, Ally has a lead, but it's so intense. Like, anything could happen. Yeah, and you're seeing right there, he's, he's actually baiting out those up tilts. Um, Peebnut playing really good neutral. Uh, however, Ally 
has his opponent at a super high percent, so it's really just finding that close hit so that he can do that something. It? I don't think so, no. Yeah. But yeah, bad, oh. yeah, super bad situation. Yeah, unfortunate. But Ally takes game one over Pavenut. Good start to the set. Definitely hype. Yeah, I like the way that Peepnote was playing towards the end of that match. Uh, in reality, though, it's just... I, I feel like Ally, like I said, with positioning, he puts himself in a good position to really net the best lead that he can and keep his opponent on the fritz, keep him kind of not knowing exactly what to do or thinking about how to get back into the neutral, which is much different than, than playing your game. You know, you want to play your game, you want to play what you plan to do your game plan is so much more important however if you're thinking about just getting back in the neutral the whole time it can be difficult i uh, like going for a switch oh no, probably just the stage does ally still play mario in this game i think i've only seen it like once Oh, Peepnut probably switching the stage. I, I think Peepnut is yeah, a Peepnut solo mega man. Yeah, the stage, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. We can... What's wrong with the mic? Is it just um the audio? Because we can turn it up if you need it. If it's just the quality, then sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a work in progress, son. <laughs> yeah, you should see this mic. <laughs> I've seen better days. Yeah. We just... There's, There's white, white noise. noise. Yeah, we just need to make a gate on it then. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a snowball. So yeah. if you don't make a, a gate on it, it it's not going to... I don't know if I can do that. I might be able to do it. I think Peepnut taking his time, choosing the stages. Yeah, the, the fan is on. We can just turn off the fan. It's gonna get hot. Uh, I think I should be able to get this gate going. It's a. Uh, Let me go check on uh, something real quick, guys. I will be back. Sure that we'll still be here. Yeah, just turn the gate on for the mic. So let me know if it sounds a little bit better. Uh, I might have to change it a little bit too. Cause yeah, that. It's pretty loud in the back. But here we go, game two. Yeah, we'll try to fix that after this set too. We have a little more time, but right now we have Ally versus Peanut game too. We're back here to um, Town of City, man. I'm telling you, bro, this is the counterpick stage. Everyone loves this stage. Dash tag to get in. Has the middle plate. Well, your dog is freaking out, dog. <laughs> yeah, balls get over. Get over here, buddy. You're, you're tripping, bro. You always have funny things to say. Okay, I like the patience. How's that boy's in the We in, baby. We in, baby. Yeah, but... Okay, cross up. Down tilt. See those pokes, man. That's the thing. It's like the neutral play that Ally has where he's consistently mixing up his opponents. That's what's really good with him, right? I, I feel like... It's harder to be on, on key with that kind of a thing in Smash, right? To just keep it to the basics. Uh, just because the game is so much more diverse and complex than a, like a normal 2D fighter. You know, and so because of that, it's not a, that's not a jab on 2D fighters, of course. But it's, it's just a situation where a lot of times you get lost in the sauce when you play a Smash game. You think about your specific setups. You, get, you think about the matchup, you think about a lot more variables, and you just kind of forget the basics and then become a more one-dimensional player and start approaching the same way over and over again, and that's where you're getting punished, and that's where you're losing yeah. neutral the most. It's all about the mix-ups. Right about that. Yeah, Peepnut does not want to get hit by the scissor kicks anymore. Mm -hmm. He's always spacing himself right out of the range for him, but that dash attack's going to take it at a high percent. Ally here with a lead, but only a small one. We're going to see if not actually can get, get a hit before. Yep. Tying it back up. Yeah, you got to jump out of there. Uh, I don't think Snake has a really good uh, way to, to punish 
Yeah, when he throws that shield away. Pima's you know? been doing that recently. I mean, this game a lot. His ally's been parrying like a bunch of crap. And it's like, that's really good to like, mix it up because you can't parry the multi hit like that. So every time he lands on him, he just, like, again, he just yeah. keeps doing it. Look at that. It puts you in a tech chase situation too when you're in the air. However, um, so Pima keeps on throwing out the crash bomber too to help him recover. Oh. And because of that, it's forcing him to go low with the recoveries. So I, I kind of wonder if, um, if that's going to bite him at any point. But yeah, super, super even game still. Chase, uh, no, he wanted the roll in. Oh. The, the roll in read is the I respect my opponent read, and the roll out is I don't respect my opponent read. Oh, wow. I swear, bro. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Okay. The down tilt tech chase. He's got such a simple name, though. I swear. His, yeah, his nooch is really nice. Yeah, it's really good. It's simple. Like, he doesn't do like the Z drop, like up tilt type yeah what's well, like things. we're talking about right don't get lost in the sauce yeah, sometimes yeah, just simple neutral he's a good lead here he has he's kind of oh, yeah. riding on the fact that he wants to take game two so he did a down tilt uh forward tilt he makes the first cover recovery though which is nice down throw forward tilt yeah that would have confirmed that's what i mean doesn't that confirm percent? It, so i i think the sweet percent is around 160. Um, I mean, uh, when 60 just done down tilt, up tilt. Yeah, but uh, I'm not so sure when forward tilt works. But yeah, yeah, it's. <laughs> I would, I would just go for it no matter what. But yeah. I think he really values his positioning. Probably just knows which characters it works on. I think it's yeah. like size of the characters or something like that. Yeah, Kiki's not in the room right now, so Icy Mist will try to get that fixed right after the set when he's got, when he comes back. The Crash Bomber coming into play. Yeah, well, I really want to see kind of what's the kill option, right? Yeah, he wanted to roll in there. Uh, really patient play from Pima. Just yeah. waiting. Yeah, he goes straight back to the center of the stage, too. He doesn't really need to get too close to his opponent. It's more about saying, listen, you're not coming in. You don't have the tools to really find that opening in either. Oh, we could. Do you know if forward air can break Nikita? There it is. Are we just doing best of fives or winners finals? Uh, finals? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think so. Yeah, because it's already nine. <laughs> well, yeah, we're not we're not leaving yeah, this house, problem, bro. This is a, you guys are gonna leave. I mean, like you're gonna be staying here like after curfew. I have, well, work. I have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna sit in my car. I got a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm not risking it in here. I got my Windex, but I'm not. Ris I don't know who's disease ridden, bro. I think secretly, like ten times more people have it in Orlando than. Have been checked for it Probably because you not. there's not enough tests out right now so you have to be like a requirement is you have to be above 65 to even get a test oh, really? isn't that a test super expensive too probably because they're scarce man these guys uh snacks here yeah, so. it's, 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 one it's, one right now yeah one it's one one. one what's that Oh shoot! It's about to get more rowdy in here. Yeah. So how's the mic now? Let us know. Uh, I can change the gate on and make it a little bit better. I, I noticed it's still on. Uh, I think the AC is taking a break too. So. What up? What up, boys? What's up, yo? Let's, let me hold it down with you, bro. Yo, check it out. I got my Windex. <laughs> the slits. Yo, everybody, good looks for the Are you affected? You no, affected? Bro, bro. Grab, uh, I've been quarantined for chair. two weeks. We'll bring it. All right. All All right. Right. Don't say no dumb shit, bro. I have a kiss. 
All right. Just got plugged up with some McDonald's. I love that you tell him to not say dumb shit, and you just are instantly tempted to, to at least say something inappropriate, as long as it's... Where's my, uh, coke? Right there, bro. Oh, drop, 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 I gotta take a... How about... I gotta take a bathroom break, so jump in real quick. Wait, what just happened? You just reset it. Oh. Do it, do it, do it after the set. Do it after the set. Yeah. So, all right, awesome. So is Ally one? No, do it after the set. Yeah, it's no, we got one, one. We got to update. It. It oh, is. no, Snake just won. He Snake just won that game. Ally one. No, that's they were resetting the match. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. What is up, everybody? This is uh Max Mesa. This is the guy who created all the graphics for the tournament and all that. So if you think they're ass. I appreciate the criticism, and if you think they're great, I also appreciate the criticism. Yeah, today was kind of hectic because we had to make sure everything was done today. Here we go, we're going back into this game. Three situation, Ally versus Peevnut. I don't know, man. I've seen a little bit of what these people have been doing. and uh, They're playing hot, bro. Yeah, bro, pretty hot. Okay. Starting off, just throwing a little bit of projectiles, you know. There's a lot of projectiles, bro. Business as usual for these characters. So pretty much, this matchup is like a battle of the projectiles. You're gonna want to like, it's pretty much like you know, gain that stage control and corner your opponent with your projectiles, pretty much. I missed the last game because I was doing something, but I'm sure it was as hype as the first game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I hope pulling it down. Uh, right now we got some ledge pressure too. People not being slick with the beavers. I, I did that on purpose. Uh, so yeah, right now, just the grenades been throwing, holding it, holding their positions as best as they can. A little bit of approaching going on. Yo, his tag is redacted. This man is crazy. Sorry, this is my first time seeing the match happen. My man got the hand sanitizer on deck. Bro, that sani. He got the sani, bro. Hold on, but as I say that, yeah, I'm gonna he not. This is the most green grassroots thing ever, by the way, guys. <laughs> this is like, if you want to talk about grassroots. players, too. Bro, you're missing one of your earrings. Yeah, I know. I got my ear. Mine too. Okay. Yeah. My left one. Like that. No, you're right because the grassroots means um, like from the big, from the bottom, bro. Well, the thing about grassroots is, is when you have a, like a great talent pool, but like the <laughs> little struggling on the the quality sometimes. That's that's the the real good vibe, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. The hardcore people just chilling, talking their <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And we know we, do, we definitely got people talking shit in the chat. Good, yeah. I'm sure that, I'm sure these players are talking shit in their neutral game. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. We got game three here versus Ally and Peevnut. This is exciting, right? This is a big turn here for Peevnut. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how did that second game go? Just summarize it in quick, quick few words. Just strong neutral. All, all together, these guys have just been playing kind of on key mm -hmm. with each other, you know, back and forth. But it, in reality, it's just. Peevnut didn't have it on lock longer the first game, and the second game, he almost just had advantage the whole time. I see him right now, he's actually holding advantage again. Ally trying to find his way in and barely missing the hitbox off that dash attack. Oh, yeah. At least to get some shield damage off and a nice little roll catch. Yeah, a really strong pull game from Peevnut here. Uh, when I say pull game, I really mean like, see, he kind of, when he's not pressuring his opponent like that, He'll, he'll pressure the opponent, then kind of run back when he thinks his opponent's going to come in and dash in towards him. Mm -hmm. He'll throw out another move just to kind of cover the space so that he doesn't get hit by a burst option like the dash attack. It's a really smart play, too, because if you know your opponent wants to keep playing and getting in, pushing advantage, or not, sorry, pushing in, you can maintain advantage by kind of just etching them out like that. Yeah. It seemed like he was trying to cover roll there in that situation, but nice parry just to escape any more pressure on the ledge, and now he's trapped in the center. 
Yeah, a situation where you don't want to get too close. You don't want to get hit by that scissor kick. Definitely not at all. Stray um, back here will definitely work out here. The thing is, though, like, yeah, he was just looking for that opening. Who's the controller, bro? <laughs> Damn, burn screen. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Yeah, finally finding that stock. He lived up to almost 200%. Right. Wow. These down airs in neutral have been really working out a lot for Tiva. Great neutral. <laughs> oh my goodness. Unfortunately, dropping his shield there because you saw how he was playing to cross him up there and he was throwing out a lot of different moves to kind of fake out where he was going to land on his opponent. Great tech away. Yeah. Playing more of a chase mm. down game now, you see. Not playing as centered anymore. Probably smart adaptation there from Ally 2 to kind of put his C4 in the, in the middle, knowing that people not like to play in the middle of the stage. All right. Yeah, like, here we go with the platforms. He seems to find a little safety when he goes to that, and nice little grab in, man. Yeah, that was good. Here we go. The thing is, like, damage output is crazy as Snake, so it, you might have a small lead, but it doesn't really mean anything. Because you get hit once like that, right? All of a sudden, you're you're at a loss. Shield pressure. Mm -hmm. Al playing incredibly patiently yeah. now. He's slow. He's been slowing it down every time he, he's down in a, in a game. Like we saw this a lot. Uh, also versus Snake when the first game. Dude, this is a lot of stock last hit. Oh! Al clutches it out. Yeah, he yeah. clutched it out. He right really there. tried to jump away from that too, but it did not work out for him. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Let me see who's next. Yeah. I believe it's Goblin and uh, Choker. So coming up next on stream is going to be. Hold up. Um, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, Louis Money and Sonic. Cool. So Louis Money and Sonic is coming up next on stream. Uh, Allies, the uh, second.